And we're back, another segment of We Got It Covered. We're here with special guest Matt Chavez. Hello, how's it going? Who's a freshman, even though he don't look like a freshman, but nice. you know. It's, it's all right. got a 401k so and a family of four <laughs> out here. <laughs> you're a mascot major? Um, I haven't declared yet, but okay. I'm, I'm you're basically going to. You're leaning towards it. Yeah, I'm basically towards going, it. going to, yeah. Have you taken any classes within MassCom already? Uh, intro to MassCom I'm doing intro? right now. Okay, you know who are you taking that with? Um, <sighs> Demerges? Old guy? No, no. no Old Cosby? Guy. Girl? Sure. Can't believe I forgot Shakar? her name. Shakar, yeah. Shakar, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 nice she, old lady. She's yeah, nice, she's nice great. lady. She's cool. Everyone yeah. in the MassCom office, I'm going to say for the most part, is really nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, most teachers, there are a few awkward ones. I'm not going to name any names. <laughs> <laughs> for the most part, like, a lot of them are really, really cool. Yeah. Like, I have class with Cosby's awesome. Mm-hmm. Fantastic lady. Demergis's, if you're on Demergis's good side, he will hold you down in the oh, work yeah. field. Definitely. So, get, get close to him. Don't even get close to him. Obviously, get close to him though. Um, <laughs> whenever you have his, an easy way to get close to him is whenever you have his class, just kill his class. Just do yep. make do the radio show, talk in his class, and just make yourself known. Mm-hmm. That's, what I'm That's why he holds you down. When we had class uh, last semester or the or two semesters mm-hmm. ago, or whatever, ago. we um yeah a year ago, we had to do or he asked us to do these things on Fridays where we helped tape for fantasy and like Fridays were pretty much optional, but I always went or not always, but m- most Fridays I went to go help out and like just by that like he looks at you and he he'll, he'll invite you to things. We both went to the Colbert show. Because oh, wow. of that, so we, 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 we so met the, CBA, the, the vice president of sales for CBS. That's crazy. That's crazy because my, my brother, my brother works for CBS as well. Too. You know what I'm trying to do? I'm actually gonna try to because the guy who take the guy who took us the v, the the VP of sales he hmm. he went to a Hollows. Oh wow! He graduated from my owner. Hey. His name's Marty Daly. I had mm-hmm. his email, but me being stupid, I lost the email. I threw it away like an idiot, right? But I was talking <laughs> to brother Ford. And I'm going to email him trying to organize a trip to the Colbert Show with everybody from All Hollows. So we hey. me, Jerry, Haji, All Hollows boys. I'll even bring Sal. I'll bring Sal. I'll yeah. bring everybody. Yeah. We'll have all of us just take a trip amongst us. We'll talk to him and we'll just, we just have a good, good time, dude. Yeah. Because last time yeah. I went with Andrew, we, um. It was dope. You got to sit sick. at the desk. We got to sit at the desk. We took a photo and oh, he wow. took us to pizza. Mm-hmm. That pizza was fire too. Yeah, it was really good. It was like city it was pizza the, is the best. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right next to the actual CBS like yeah. studio. Yeah, I, I was I was I've been there before because you know. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I tried to uh, to get the mergers to bring us to the Daily Show. You know, every year, every semester, we go to a different place. I That's like that cool. Daily Show. We need to go see John Oliver and like you know do the do things That'd like that. That'd be sick, dude. I, th- I think it'd be sick to catch um the Trevor Noah show. That oh yeah, awesome. I need I need yeah. him to sign my book, bro. I, I need that. You have the Trevor Noah book? Yeah, That's it was fire. It was great book. I'm actually I'm a big fan of Trevor Noah. Mm-hmm, like everybody else, I wasn't really a big fan of him at first. Yeah, that's yeah, hard. But like, but it it's is, hard it's, to replace. You know, yeah, yeah but it's, it's also just like you gotta think about the condition, right? Who did he replace? He replaced Stewart. John, yeah, John, John Stewart. Stewart. Like he, it's a legend. And John Stewart has been doing it for years. He's a legend. He's probably the pioneer of that kind yeah, of talk show. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. And it's also it's different because now you have a foreigner, an outsider, mm-hmm. where John Stewart was giving you the hard hitting facts, balanced with comedy. Mm-hmm. But it was like, yo, he's one of us. Yeah, so yeah. The biggest backlash I thought that with Trevor Noah was that yo, Trevor Noah, in, in of his own, in his own right, he's a good person. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. he kills it, right? But it was like that phase of adjustment, the mm-hmm. adjustment period where it was like, Trevor Noah is an outsider from Africa from south africa what does he know about politics then you put him under the microscope comparing him to john stewart it's not favorable but now that he has the writers accommodating him hmm. now that he's a lot more comfortable in front like i just saw one where he did an interview with gucci man <laughs> he dropped like an autobiography which is a really good book apparently my yep. friend read it and he doesn't even read he read it and finished <laughs> it in three days damn it's like 300 pages too mm-hmm Gucci That's man. good. So like you can just see he's building he's building rapport. He's getting much more comfortable, and because of that, mm-hmm. now he's getting his t- he's getting his like his due diligence. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. People aren't looking at him as the John John Stewart replacement. People They're are looking, looking at him as Trevor, his own person. Trevor Noah. It, yeah, it, person. it definitely takes time, especially with John Stewart doing it for seventeen years. I like, think nowadays, not. like I don't know if it's a golden age because Colbert is not doing his own late night show, so he's not even doing like the, it's not even like the Colbert Report. Yeah, mm-hmm. but we do have the opposition. Mm-hmm. Um, we have the Trevor Noah show, and then you have John Oliver. So it's like we have a lot. John of Oliver, something else, yeah, man. I, yeah. I love watching his show too. I don't watch much of it, but I, whenever I do it, I always like enjoy. Yeah, it. I, I never like, regret watching. He, the show he won. He won. Um, it was the Emmys, right? Yeah, he won yeah, the Emmys. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah, no, well deserved. Oh yeah. HBO, HBO is one of my favorite. I'm taking the uh, doing well. The uh, the course over the winter film, mm-hmm. HB, HBO and special topics. That's awesome. Kate is taking that too. It's gonna be fire. I love who's, HBO, who's bro. Teaching it? Uh, I forget. The, I think it said staff on it still. I if don't. It's th- the Fino. You're gonna be in for. Sure. Yeah, I'm taking him. Um, oh, it's probably him. And then. Uh, the Fino is like probably the, my favorite teacher in the, in the entire round again. <laughs> Next semester, I'm taking. Um, like once you have him, you're gonna realize. Donald. 
You've yeah, I'm had, taking Donlin right now yeah. for broadcasting newsroom. He's a, he's a, he's a stud. I'm he's, taking that next semester. His class is a little difficult. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a lot of it's not a lot of work. It's just he expects a lot of you, mm-hmm. but you do learn a lot. And like I'm, tr- everybody in that class is trying to get on this good side mm-hmm. because Donlin has connects. Like, yeah, he's con- he's like a senior oh, yeah. producer at CBS. Wow. Yeah. So like he has connects. NBC. Yeah, I'm um, thinking CNBC. That's what he. Oh yeah, CNBC. Yeah, yeah, got yeah, you. CNBC. I would be remiss if I didn't mention Damon Amon. Amon. De- oh wow, I butchered his name. D A. Mm-hmm. He tells people to call him D A. Because yeah. everybody butchers his name. But yeah, he was good. He from CBS Radio, so he does that. So what happened? His, Did he come? Um, he came to the the, the the editing lab, the new yeah, lab, he, and he was just talking to a bunch of students. Yeah, uh, Pete interviewed him first for his class, and then he came over and talked to us. You know about his story, about what he went through. Um, how you know back in the day he had the huge camera on his on his shoulder yet with mm-hmm. the VHS tapes and like he was the only person it's doing it for his high school. How things have come a long way, man. Yeah, for high school, for his high school sports, he was the only person doing that. He went to Syracuse. Um, I think he was in Nebraska. He went to Florida, like all these different places up until he got his own radio show and stuff like that. And he talked about how like you have to make looking for a job your job. So like, he yeah, logged in whoever point. he called. He, he wrote it down, whoever he emailed, when he emailed them, mm-hmm. you know, so he doesn't email them, like, within a week apart, you know, to not be annoying and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. it was just great just to talk to somebody like that. He kind of gave us advice for the podcast, too, because I asked him. He said that, like, you know, try to do it weekly and also try to put it up on YouTube as well, you know, because mm-hmm. we have it on iTunes. But he was like, that gets kind of, like, pushed to the back because there's so many. It's just trying to get exposure to yeah. as many an- avenues mm-hmm. as possible. Exactly. That's like, how it really because nowadays like you can't really neglect the social media or yeah you need social media social media is huge like mm-hmm. social media can be the biggest crutch or the biggest advantage depending mm-hmm. on how you yeah. use it you know what I mean exactly mm-hmm. yeah definitely and it was just great to talk to somebody like that and I told him and he knows Charlemagne obviously mm-hmm. <laughs> what's his name Demer just told me to try to get him in, get him in here for an interview I was like a bet That'd be sick, dude. Bad, I'm, I want you to conduct, and I want to be behind the scenes. Bad. That'd be dope. <laughs> it's like, you feel like, yo, if, you had, if a Charlamagne interview went down, Andrew, you're the guy for that, because you read his <laughs> book, you're a big fan. Oh, yeah, definitely. definitely. You definitely crush it. I'm going to take uh, Joe's spot, because Joe interviewed him, like, when we when they put the cameras up and stuff, so mm-hmm. Pete interviewed him in the booth, in the podcast booth, mm-hmm. and then Joe interviewed him, like, in the actual room. Thinking about thinking about that for the portfolio would be fire, for your highlight oh, yeah. reel. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. And I'm trying to work at loudspeakers too. Loudspeakers networks. They do all the podcasts. They do brilliant idiots podcasts. They do so Angela Yee. Is, is your specific? Because I know we've we've talked a lot about media and like professions and stuff. But I never mm-hmm. ever really had like a, a concrete handle of what you want to do specifically. So what do, what do you want to? Do? Are you focused? I know you're broadcast media as mm-hmm. well, right? Yeah. But think about broadcast media is that it's so many different avenues. Mm-hmm. There's not. It's Facts. not specifically TV, film, or bra- yeah. radio. It's just broadcast. Because mm-hmm. anything can be broadcast. Definitely. Mm-hmm. I'm saying so. Do you, what do you see yourself focusing more on? Um, I, I honestly just want to like create stuff because like mm-hmm. whatever I see, I like if I see people you know on, on Twitter being funny and stuff like that, I'm like that'd be a great idea for a show. Make it kind of like the the Dave Chappelle show. Mm-hmm. Or I see people who have the potential to do like radio shows like us. Like I was talking to Juju the other day. She's like she has a good personality and stuff. I was like you should do a radio show. I'm not just gonna go up to any random person just to fill our time because we do have times left. But I want people who could actually do it to do it. But also for like. Radio stuff, radio shows, and things like that. I would be interested in in actually doing the radio show. Mm-hmm. I don't typically. I would want to be on camera, but at the same time, I need practice first because I'm still like kind of uncomfortable sometimes. I need practice. I need practice like just being on camp camera, being comfortable, kind of like Matt Ricker is, mm-hmm. and then doing that. But for radio, like I'm I'm completely comfortable. Like this, I could talk forever, and like I want to do I want to do everything basically. Like I there's no like one thing. I'm open everything saying, basically. Yeah. And that's, that's what he, that's what he said too yesterday. Be open to everything. Like if I don't really particularly love sports to to talk about it because I don't like researching stats and and this and that's that. And, yeah, you, you just and, you just say what you hear. Yeah, I just say whatever I hear. Like like if we want to talk about Cam Newton, what he said yesterday, like I'll have an opinion on that and I'll, and I'll talk about that mm-hmm. things that I feel like matters because that was kind of you know that was yeah. that was not cool what he said to the female reporter. Yeah, but you know like just basically creating stuff like what Issa Rae did with HBO and like when we did our our writing for the screen. I had a script and I really like my script so if that could get made and created I would go with that so I, I gave Joe my script actually and he read it over the, over the summer and stuff and he like gave me advice and things like that too Joe so, Blue the one we had to be before yep 
Nice. Because we work together, so I was like, nice. <laughs> might as well take the script, read it, and stuff and like that. He's somebody with experience, too, so it's yep. just like, what, you can't really lose anything. Mm-hmm. It's like a win-win. But I also like music. So if Terrell, you know, if he wants input in music and stuff like that, I'll be like, oh, I like this track. He actually asked me, I like this track, and, you know, I don't really like this that much, and blah, blah, blah. So like, he asked me for his input. So anything with creating-wise, like, I'm a terrible seller. Like, if you don't want something... I I That's I'm it. not gonna push you. Like I'm not gonna be like, please. please. No, like, but you're no. more of like the behind the scenes, the production kind mm-hmm. of guy. You're the creative, you're the idea man for the sense. You know That's what I'm saying? Yeah. I can see it. It's like everybody has different strengths. That's you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Sometimes yeah. I do. I get to, it's you want to like improve your weaknesses. Yeah. But I think sometimes it's just simpler. Just make things tailor it to your strengths. You know what yep. I'm saying? If you know you're not good at sales in those positions of corporate, then don't yep. do it. Just yeah. do what you're good at. I you can never work in the office, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yo, I, <laughs> yo, I can do the 9 to 5. I can do the 9 to 5 yeah. if I have to, but I don't want to do the cubicle 9 to yep. 5. That's, exactly. That's something five. else. Yeah. Yeah. Like, nine if you said 9 to 5, or not even a 9 to 5, because 9 to 5 isn't even the hours you work with in media, depending mm-hmm. on what you do. So it's so you yeah. do a morning show. That's mm-hmm. like 5 a.m. to like 1 or yeah. 2. I can do that. Yeah, that definitely. five a.m. to one and two, you're out by two, dude. I, I, I mean, I I used to work crazy. I used to work like eleven to one, like eleven a.m. to one a.m. That's crazy. That's yeah. absolutely nuts. Yeah. So uh, the, the, I mean, that's, that's that was the chef life. But I mean, I can do I can do basically hour, hour, anything like that. Mm-hmm. Li- as long as it's like a bit a bit much of a routine, that 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 way I can get my sleep schedule going and <laughs> other yeah, things yeah. going, you know. Yeah, and I, and like I just have ideas sometimes. I'm like, yo, what if we went up to serious you, me, and Moses? Be like, yo. We're going to do a millennial podcast, like talk about millennial stuff and, and how we act and what we do. Like, mm-hmm. like just things like that, too. Um, so <laughs> That's not a bad idea at all. Yeah, we have a lot of ideas we're bouncing around. Exactly. It's just like, because sometimes you think your idea is sick, but you have to like think about like, would mm-hmm. it be feasible to do it? Or do we well, have people enough? would be interested in listening mm-hmm. exactly. to it? Do, would it be feasible or do we even have like enough interest, enough background mm-hmm. to exactly. talk about it? You know what I mean? And my thing is that people, it seems like, the older people don't want to give us a chance, but somebody like Charlemagne would, and that's why I like Charlemagne, because he likes helping everybody. Like he'll bring people. They created a Martin uh, trivia card game. He brought them on the podcast, and they promoted their podcast and stuff. Like he will literally help you with things if he believes that you believe in yourself, and if he likes what you're trying to do, and he feels like you're trying to, you know, do things for with a purpose. He'll he'll definitely push you, or he'll give you his contact to go to the person to talk to and stuff like that. So that's why I really like Charlemagne, and I really follow him. But you know, yesterday's experience was good too. At first, like those things, I'm I'm kind of not, you know, the most happiest person in the world to go to, because like you know, some people can be snobs and stuff. But he was like a really cool dude, and he was down to earth and all that. And you know, he struggled too. So you know, he's sensitive to what to what we're going through now because now we're in the same space he was in 2001 graduating Syracuse trying to find a job trying to find the opportunity to move forward in life and in your career and what you want to do so you know he's 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 close to us and, and he feels a connection to us and he's on social media too he's on Twitter he's on Facebook even though his bosses you know they're still the old types like they weren't even in college when computers were around Jeez. like he was so he feels more you know he feels closer to us too so that's the thing about the industry, though. You have to, you have to work hard, but also you have to meet the right people at Networking the right time. It's like it's a mix of like how hard you work, and it's also luck. But it's just like the hardest part is just being at the right place at the right, right time. time. Yep, it's that's weird. why you're out. That's you the be type it. of stuff that's out of your control. You just have to be there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's times we have to capitalize. Just being there isn't enough. Because sometimes you have to you're make right yourself right. known. You have to like capitalize on the opportunity. You're like, all right, I just walked into Tarantino, right place, right time. But you gotta talk to the guy. You <laughs> yeah, know you gotta, you gotta like, oh hey, then pitch yourself. You know, that's that's when it comes to like, like pitching yo, yourself. That's what it really is. You just have to be confident. You gotta become in a yourself. salesman for yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you're trying to sell po- yourself. At that point, being a salesman for yourself kind of comes naturally when you already have experience and you know what you want to yeah, do. When you make yourself more marketable in a sense, right? It's like, for example, Dom, myself, right? Just refer to myself in third person real quick. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, but Dom Dom's a, Dom's one of the heads of WICR. He's a directing executive. He's also a member of ICTV. He's a general member. I was actually on an interview very recently. I think you might see it on the next episode. I, I'm a writer for the Ionian, and I'm, I'm one of the heads of Best Buddies. And Best Buddies has nothing to do with media, but that just shows that it's I'm multifaceted. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Cause yeah, I have I'm doing newspaper. I'm doing editorial writing, video production, and radio broadcasting. Mm-hmm. So you just makes yourself marketable. And when you have that kind of like when you have that backing you up, it's like the idea of confidence and like when you put in enough work, 
you know you're the ish because you're like yo i put all this work and i know all this kind of stuff how could i possibly fail and that kind of just manifests itself in the way you Hopefully carry your yourself confidence. right you know what i mean yeah so that's what it is like right now for a lot of people especially in your position matt you obviously you're in a different position because yeah. you're a freshman yeah. but you're a freshman with a, with added insight because you've had those three years of culinary yeah. school and you just matured right yeah but a lot of people who are coming now they're freshmen they're stressing like oh i don't know what i want to do to yeah because it's, it's literally it's just like, high school into college it's like the and it, yeah, honestly it, it's a big jump it's a yeah. very very big jump especially yeah. especially depending on where you're going mm. so imagine going from ohio is like us small school 100 150 kids graduating classes yeah. like penn state dude imagine that. I, I can't imagine like, imagine People were gonna like, uh, uh, like, what's it called? People were telling me SUNY Albany was a big jump, and yeah, SUNY like Albany just a really, really like California. Like, like imagine like going to places like that and it being the jump, but it's like you, you have to kind of take take it in stride. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you, first and mm. foremost, you made it, enjoy it. Yeah, mm -hmm. truth. Freshman year, enjoy it. Just do good in your classes, and that's it. Don't worry about anything else. Sophomore year, start putting some thought into it. Yeah. Junior year is when you should actually start kicking it into high gear. And senior year, you should kind of have stuff figured out already. Yeah. That's how I look mm -hmm. at it. It's a step-by-step -step process. It doesn't come to everybody overnight. Even the people who are the most successful. You know what I mean? Hell, mm. some people who are the most successful didn't even go to college. Yeah. yeah. A la sure. Bill Gates. A la Steve Jobs. Mm. They dropped, dropped out. out. Like, Zuckerberg. Yeah. He went yeah. to Harvard. Dropped uh, out. Oh, jeez. Mm. Zuckerberg. Yeah. yeah. It's Steven all about... Spielberg got his start making movies mm. by sneaking onto the lot. He'd jump over the fence with the suit and just pretend like he like he belonged. Unbelievable. And he ended <laughs> up dope. getting a job, and now he's Steven Spielberg. <laughs> and now yeah. he is Steven Spielberg. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's just Steven Spielberg. Yeah. He's Steven Spielberg. Spielberg, yeah. Yeah, moral stories, it's, it'll come to you. You just got to keep working hard. Get yeah. in where you fit in, too. All right, we're going to take another quick break, and we'll be right back.